What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It's another review. Chris Campbell in the house. Um, I have not picked up his second book yet, but um, I actually plan to, and I think it's going to be something I'm going to be. His first book was awesome, Atomic Attraction, right? So everything's down below in the description box and the pinned comments. Sometimes I forget to do pinned comments, guys. So if you catch me forgetting, you catch me slipping, just let me know in the comments and I'll be like, oh yeah, and I'll go and do it. Um, I li how I do my videos, I usually record everything uh, and, and upload it and then I go home and do a thumbnail and blah, blah, blah. And sometimes because of that, you know, I forget. Okay, so anyway, I'll see, uh, I'll see you there if you guys, you know, catch me slipping. But let's get right into this video. Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about if your girlfriend doesn't respect you, she starts looking down on you. How do you deal with this situation and what should you do to increase respect and increase the attraction? I'm gonna go through an email first from a viewer and talk about this in more detail. So before he does that, I actually wanna to talk to you guys and let you guys know from a coach's perspective, somebody who's been doing this for four and a half years, five years, something like that now, where the disrespect usually comes from uh, a guy getting complacent just from my experience. So guys who let it go on for too long because women will test you, right? So when a guy isn't pushing, when he's not, you know, he doesn't know his purpose, when he doesn't know, he isn't, he's not living his full masculine energy, uh, drive, purpose, mission, focus, right? He's becoming a relationship focused. She will test you. And then when those tests fail, she gets disrespectful towards you. And then when that happens, because a lot of guys get pleaser like, Right. She wants to walk away and go go out with a guy who doesn't deal with that shit, who puts her not puts her. I hate that word. That term puts her in her place. But I guess that's what it is, because she when she tests you, you say, no, like that's not what it is. This is how it is. Right. And it's just you standing up to her and having a spine. That's exactly what she wants from you. OK, let's see. Let's see what's going on here, though. So he kicks off. Hi Chris, the last couple of months my girlfriend has started testing me. I've noticed that she's trying to make me jealous with other guys and she is in a bad mood and often rude to me. I told her she had to stop this and that I did not like her behavior and if she would not stop doing this that I would have to leave her. She told me later that I was all talk, acting tough on the outside, but that I was weak inside. She even called me a little bitch when I tried to complain about her behavior. Ouch. So this tells me that this girl has no respect for you at all. And she can see right through you. If you're trying to call her out, you're trying to put her in a place, but it's all talk, there's no action, you're not following up with action, she'll know. Women can tell the difference between words and actions. Women focus on actions. Even though they use a lot of words, they focus on your behavior because behavior is always much more powerful than words. This girl knows that this guy is weak and fragile inside that he could never leave her, that she has all the power. And that's why she's calling him a little bitch and she's disrespecting him. Bro, imagine dealing with that, letting that happen to you, right? I'm not saying get violent or anything like that. I'm just saying like, imagine, bro, like I'm at the point in my life where I've been doing this for so long now and I'm at the point in my life where like, most people are extremely respectful towards me that are in my circle, right? I don't deal with disrespect, right? And if a woman was ever like that towards me, it, I just wouldn't talk to her ever, ever again, right? My girl's not like that towards me at all. And it's because she understands that that wouldn't be tolerated. So disrespect, right? That, that respect drop is always going to have an attraction drop that follows. And it's because she knows you ain't shit because you want the relationship to work out. And that's where a lot of guys get fucked up is they think that, okay, if I, if I stand up to her, I'm going to lose her. You have to be willing to walk away from the negotiating table in a relationship. You have to be willing to give it all up and say at any moment and say, fuck this. I, I, I'm not, I'm not tolerating this. I'm out. That being on the table and just being there in a woman's mind is everything she needs to know about you as a man. If you care too much about the relationship failing, and you care too much about her walking away and being with another guy, right? I'm not saying tolerate that, but I'm saying you have to be able to let that go. Let her go, okay? 
not let it go that she's been with other people and take her back. Nothing like that. If she's disrespectful, again, if the disrespect was handed to me, out the door you go. Okay? That's just the way it is. And people can sense that about you. You can be, I'm kind to, to everybody in my circle. Everybody. Right? And, but they also know that I'm very tenacious and I'm not going to be like, you know, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be a pushover to anybody. They know that about me. So nobody ever treats me like that. So that's how you guys should start to behave with the opposite sex because that's what, that's what gets results. That's what those bad boys have in common is the fact that they're willing to be that way towards women. He continues, to be honest, I'm not sure how to deal with this situation. I know my girlfriend has issues. She is depressed and often complains about her family. She also has a lot of stress in her job. I'm not sure about the best way to deal with this going forward. <clears throat> so this is a classic mistake when you start to feel sorry for a woman. You think, okay, she's depressed. She's got issues with her family. She's not making enough money. Uh, she doesn't like her colleagues. She doesn't like her work. So you start to feel sorry for her and you- I'm literally, sorry to pause this so often. I'm literally dealing with this right now with a certain student of mine. I'm not gonna say who he is, of course, if you're watching this, but that is how he is actually acting. He's He wants to be there for her while she goes through all of these fucking personal and emotional individual problems. And I'm like, look, you don't have to be a dick to her, right? And in, in, in this case where this girl's being disrespectful towards him, again, dealing with disrespect is pulling your attention away. I'm not saying you should throw that kind of shit back at somebody because that solves nothing, okay? But the best way to get someone's attention and respect is to pull away yours, to pull away your attention and your energy because it's just petty to start acting the same way, right? So um, I know how it feels to want to act that way, but I'm dealing with that right now with a student and I'm literally like, okay, pull it all back. Just pull it back. Start to forgive her for all of these infractions against you, rude behavior, aggressive behavior, toxic behavior, her calling you out, her looking down on you, talking down to you, flirting with other men. If a woman does any of these things, if she's disrespectful to you, don't think that you can give her a pass because she's got a difficult life. Everybody has problems. Everybody has to deal with something in life at some point in time. But in this case, this woman knows that this guy is trying to talk her into being nice and she knows that she has the power. He can't walk away. He's not punishing her properly for her rude behavior, for her disrespectful behavior. And I always say, look, the best form of punishment and the best wake-up call for a woman is to walk away and leave her. You can't argue with that. If you walk away from somebody, you know you can't disrespect them. But if you keep putting up with it, you keep putting up with this disrespectful behavior, it will only get worse and worse. So do yourself a favor, if you're dealing with a woman who's disrespectful, you have to show her through your actions that you can walk away and leave her. It is the only way she will ever respect you and find you attractive. That's why you will always see when a woman doesn't really like a guy, she's not that into him, even if they're in a relationship, or she's talking down to him the moment the guy breaks up and leaves and means it, it changes everything. That's when her interest goes from 55% to 100%. It's little things like this. Women love it when a man can walk away, right? It tells her everything she needs to know, that you have options, you're high value, you respect yourself, you've got confidence, and they know they picked the right guy. So this is exactly what I mean. The whole quote unquote bad boy. You don't need to even be mean or whatever to be a to to in to to use these masculine traits, right? It's just masculinity, guys. When somebody's not treating you the way that you know you should be treated, get rid of them. Get rid of them. So it's, it's that simple. But you guys, the issue is, um, what I'm seeing is, it's just low self-esteem. That's the core issue here. You guys don't really believe that you're worthy, right? And because you found somebody who you really like, that's just what it all comes back to. That's what I'm seeing as a coach. When we break down and remove all the layers, you're not confident in yourself as a man. And that's all I try to get guys to work on. Work on yourselves. Focus on yourselves. Focus on you. Focus on your growth as a man. Focus on your money, right? Uh, focus on making 10K a month. Focus on, I don't, I don't care what it is you're doing. It's easier than you think. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You don't have to do videos. You can, you know, I've been teaching people how to do it. 
but you just have to be understand value at scale and that's what i do that's i do that outside i do it with my media company right so focus on making more money focus on understanding women focus on understanding attraction skills right and each 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 tool that you become better at so when you start making real money that's just going to make you look better because you can buy more clothes you know you know you can obviously be more confident everyone's more confident with more money in their pocket right you can pay for your bills you can be more free you can express yourself better living glory they call it okay so when you can live that way and then you know you work out you're working on your body you're gathering more things in your uh, into your tool belt so to speak that will make you a better man and then you'll attract better women that's what that chart that i always bring up is all about okay so it's right here so this is what it is okay when you work on yourself let's move myself down here now that we're done with chris's video when you work on yourself this is exactly what you can expect to happen in your life okay so you're going to start attracting people that are up here in the purple the blue this is power the power section okay the fourth section is what you don't some of it is good the courage is good but courage is where you need to understand that it's okay that certain thing so for example accepting a breakup into your life accepting that you and a woman did not work out accepting that uh things are the way that they are right now and they're gonna get better right and then you can start actually experiencing more of these emotions and more of these emotions okay Emotions are going to be there no matter what. When people say, oh my God, you're being emotional, right? So sometimes in the comment section, I'll check people and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I think some comments are actually dumb, okay? And some people will be like, oh, you're being emotional. It's like, what do you mean? You can't even hear my tone. How the fuck am I being emotional? Okay, so and the reason I'm saying that is because emotions are always going to be there for us, even as men. Okay. People automatically assume stoicism is absent of emotion. No, it's just not letting the emotion control you, right? You're going to feel emotions no matter what, because that's what we are built. That's what we do. We use emotion to drive things forward. Okay. We use anger, for example, after a breakup to, to bring, you know, go to the gym. Okay. Getting angry is okay. If it's going to, if you're going to use it as a tool, in my opinion, just don't stay there. Okay. In today's day and age, people will only hear certain things. And I made this mistake two or three, two days ago. Okay. Where somebody said something to me in my life and he knows who he is and you know, we're becoming great, better and better friends. And, um, we're working together now. And I, and he said, he said like 90% good shit. And then 10% shit that triggered something in my psyche and I said something to him then I, and I reacted a specific way. And guys, I just want you guys to know, I preach this shit, right? I still have work to do just like you do. I'm just at a different level, right? Where I, the people I'm surrounding myself with aren't all evil people. And the, the people that I was surrounded, with, surrounded with when I was young would try to fuck you over. Not all of them, of course, but they, it's, it's, that's the attitude that they had. You know what I mean? And now that I'm ascending and getting smarter and surrounding myself with smarter people, better people, uh, people with more money, right? They are, they are, they don't have the time to sit around and fuck me over, right? They, they're not going to be, they don't have the time to be petty. So this is what I'm learning about. And again, guys, I'm only 32 years old. There are people younger than me that are further ahead of me for sure, right? But but I started this shit four years ago, five years ago. Not this channel, but this channel and my blogs, right? And then it just it just turned into something that I didn't even imagine would happen. And the reason I keep saying this to you about what I've done, you guys can do the same damn thing. I'm not saying go down the exact same path as me because you're you, you might be built a different way. But you guys can totally take control of your lives and control of your time. And when you have control of your time and your emotions and your energy... You're not always going to be perfect. You're not. You're just not. It's not the way it is. There are YouTubers out there that will tell you and, and preach to you like they are perfect. They're not fucking perfect. Okay. They have shit that they need to work on too. We all do. 
Nobody, no YouTuber out there is fucking perfect. Nobody is, 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 is beyond the lessons of life. That's why we're here in my opinion. And there's just, there are people that are ahead of you and there are people that are behind you. And that's okay. That's okay. Everyone's got to learn at their own pace. So when, when I go back to these emotions, right? The entire idea is to stop feeling less of this orange stuff and go up to towards purple, no matter the speed of what that is. Okay. That is what I want to teach you guys. That's what I want you guys to learn. Anybody who, who knows me knows that I just care about you getting better. If you were better to today than you were yesterday because you hit the gym twice, right? More than you normally do. Great. If you read 10 more pages than you did yesterday. Great. But remember, emotions aren't always a bad thing, right? And we all have this negative connotation of when somebody's being emotional, especially a man. Okay. But use any emotions that you feel to drive things forward. Use it as fuel. So angry, uh, fear, right? Say you fear not being able to get another woman in your life. It's a big fear that people have to come to realize. Great. Use it to fuel you to read some more material, to learn more, to get better uh, at that specific thing that you're fearful of. Use it as a tool. Use it as fuel. Guys, it can be done. You don't have to let emotions control you. You control the emotion. You use it as a tool. It will eventually go away. It's it's kind of like a it's kind of like when you drink coffee or something like that, right? And sometimes it comes and goes in, in, in waves, sometimes very frequent waves, and sometimes it's a big wave and, a, and then it goes away, right? Use it. Go for a walk. Listen to a podcast. Work out. Work on your business. And I know this video is a lot longer than you guys were expecting, so <laughs> I'll cut it off now. Coaching's down below. Make sure you pick up Chris's stuff. So uh, develop... Let me turn off the fucking subtitles developattraction.com pick up the first book and second book again i haven't picked up the second book yet to be honest i haven't read it i don't want to promote a book i've not read to my audience but most of you guys know who chris campbell is and probably buy his shit anyway so uh, atomic attraction is a fantastic book it's a great book to have in your tool belt like i said for the specific idea of attraction and understanding female nature use that uh, how to be three percent man fantastic book but Sedona method and letting go have probably made the biggest impact because it teaches you to understand and harness emotions and uh, having a place to go to and how to let go of negative right I'll see you guys in the next video everything for me for my coaching is down below in the description box and in the pinned comments if I fucking remember to do it guys if I forget just drop a comment and said you fucking forgot bro and uh, I'll put it there and uh Maybe I got to start doing donations to like some sort of fucking charity or something every time I forget. Anyway, love you guys. Take it easy.